Hello, this is Mr. Britton from Britton Computer Tech Tutorials. Today what I'm going to show you how to do is, um, this is part four of my quick slot tutorial, and my first three slots, my first one is for my hit points, so if I collect a potion, I've got a stackable inventory of hit point potion, which I can use to increase my hit points. My second is my energy, which I can use to either do my shield, which I talked about in part three. Today I'm going to talk about part four, which is my attack mode. So let me show you how the attack mode works. If I go over here and press 4, I'm going to shoot some bullets out in all different directions. It uses up all of my energy, so I'm going to have to press 2 to increase my energy again. I'm going to go ahead and use a shield, um, and then I'm going to press another attack mode, and there we go. I uh, destroyed one of the monsters. Uh, I don't have any mana left so I can't use any of those anymore and I've used all the mana potions I can increase my my uh, hit points by pressing number one so it's one two three or four let me show you how I did this so my first thing I did is I created a sprite for my fireball and I went in and animated this to give a little better effect you can do that by going to animation rotation sequence clockwise and I did it in five frames you can use any frames, the amount of frames you want, but I thought that was a pretty good effect. Then I made the uh, an object for the fireball, gave it the sprite for the fireball, added two events. First one was a collision with a wall that will destroy itself, so you can't shoot the fireballs through walls. And I also added a outside room event, which will destroy the fireball as well. Now, uh, I went to the... Uh, my boy's object and I have to have a way to um, use the fireball and I use that by using a key press for the four and this is what it does first thing it does it checks whether or not I have enough energy to perform the super attack so it checks whether or not my boy's energy is greater than 29 and I put 29 because it takes 30 total energy to use it so then I start a block in the control tab you have to have these blocks so it'll do every single one of these actions instead of just the first action so anytime I want to do multiple actions you have to put all those actions inside of the blocks so uh, the first thing it is I set my variable boy energy to negative 30 relative that'll take away 30 from your energy and then I simply create eight instances of my fireball each one has a speed of 10 but the direction changes. It, uh, the first one is going to be direction 0 which is to the right. The second one is at 45 degrees so it'll be to the right and up at 45 degrees and then it just simply increases by 45 each time so the direction is 90, 135, 180, 225, 270, and 315. Everything else is the same except for that direction. That gives you the the nice eight uh, eight direction pattern for that fireball. Now to make the fireballs hurt the monsters, I have to go to the skeleton object, and I have to add a collision event with the fireball. And what it'll do is number one, it'll destroy the instance of other that'll destroy the fireball. It'll then uh, just like I showed you how to create the impact of previous tutorial, it's going to make the impact effect to show that it's been hit. It's going to take away five hit points from the skeleton. So you put HP, negative five relative. And then you test whether or not the skeleton's hit, hit points are smaller than zero. If they are, you destroy the skeleton. And that's how you make uh, those quick slots. Uh, you could add as many quick slots as you want. Uh, it's a pretty cool effect. Uh, you could also use it for inventory, so if you have any more questions, be sure to uh, check out my other tutorials, maybe comment on a video, and I can show you to do more things. Thank you very much.